And, and we've also seen that uh, France, which was one of the main partners of Mali, has now left Mali for, for several different reasons, one of them being this uh, double coup, a coup within the coup in Mali, but also deteriorating relations on a diplomatic and a military level um, between Mali and, and um, France. How, how do you see this development, Ulf, and what do you see, how do you see France's role in the region more broadly? Uh, I think uh, France's withdrawal is, is a chance for the other European Union members to step up to the engagement. So far, we uh, followed blindly the French. French has done much for the region, where they're the only one who are really willing to fight terrorists, whereas the Euro other Europeans were maybe training or doing other stuff behind the scenes. But uh, also France is, is now facing really, you know, uh, many problems in the region due to its role as former colonial power, also because its, its policies are rejected by, uh, by many in the Sahel region, not just in, in Mali, but also in other countries. I mean, this diplomatic escalation between Mali and France, to which both sides contributed, also the Malians, not just the French, has really uh, upset not just Malians, but people in general in the, in the region. So they are they're less welcome there, and this is not a chance for the other Europeans who kind of, you know, let just France take the lead and follow behind to be a more active role and also really, you know, engage themselves. Countries like like, like Germany or you know, it, Italy or other, you know, European Union members who don't have a colonial past in the region, they're really seen as, as neutral and it's, it's up to us, up to, for them to, to play a bigger role and to replace the French, which sooner or later will be probably also, you know, scaling down their engagement in other countries. Mm. Yeah, we have already seen that France is withdrawing from Mali and also diminu diminishing the number of troops that they have in the region more broadly. There have been um, discussions about increasing the collaboration with Burkina Faso, but we've also seen that uh, during the last coup uh, in Burkina Faso just two months ago, um, there were also anti-French uh, feelings that were on display, um, Russian flags that were also waved in, in different demonstrations. Um, how do you see this uh, growing anti-French sentiment uh, in the region? Uh, yes, uh, uh, before going through to the, the question, I think... Uh, we have to highlight that the uh, European Union is doing very good things in Sahel. We are not uh, negative with them. They are doing many good things. If you take uh, AUTM, European Mission Training for uh, Military in Mali, they train uh, more than 30,000 uh, mil uh, mili Malian mil military troops uh, and European... Um, uh, Europe, uh, Ecap Sahel, Mali, Ecap Sahel, Niger, they are doing good, but they, they can do better. They can do better. Our expectation is them to do better in the training, to do better in other things. And if they do, it can, can, it can help to, uh, uh, to more understand what European Union is doing in Sahel. Now, in a large part of the Sahelian opinion, they are looking what France is doing as European. But as we have to, to maybe to dis distinct, uh, to put a distinction between France and the rest of uh, country of, uh, uh, of uh, European Union. Uh, many, uh, there is a historical reasons for reject of France because of colonialism, but there is a very mistake made by French uh, uh, authority when they speak uh, with Malian, what their attitude sometimes uh, uh, suggests a kind of neocolonialism. And now, uh, if you take uh, Sahelian area, there are very many young people who didn't know the relationship between France and uh, Mali or other country uh, when uh, at the colonialism. They don't know. For them, France is equal with Mali. They cannot support what is uh, what their their old grandparents support. And uh, the, you see demonstration. We see uh, the they go to French embassy, to French uh, uh, cultural center, and other to, pro to to protest. I think France uh, make uh, many mistake. Uh, 
Uh, after Mali, we see after the coup of Burk- in Burkina Faso, uh, the Russian flags, uh, people uh, called for uh, Russia because they are they're kind of disappointed. Uh, people are disappointed. They didn't have, uh, you, you, you know, um, after Serval, maybe we have to explain uh, to people, uh, w- when, when Serval start in 2014, people receive uh, Serval with, ta- with uh, music, with other things. And uh, ten, day, 10 years after, what happened? What happened today? People are putting told on, on France. Uh, 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 10 years ago, they, uh, they, 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 they welcome France with uh, something miss. Uh, and I think France didn't manage it very uh, efficiently. And today, the, uh, the anti-France... Uh, feeling is growing uh, more than Mali is coming uh, in Burkina Faso, even in Niger. Uh, there is a small, in, in the opinion, there is a reject of France. I think France himself have to stay and think what happened, what, what, what happened, we can, and how we can change with, uh, this way uh, France have to do, to do that.